What's going on guys? So this is the 10 foot by 50 foot trailer that we have been working on since the first few days, our demo videos that you saw that just came out last week. If you haven't seen them already, I'll make sure to put a little card up here so you can check that out. But we had to focus all of our attention on this because it needed so much work. Every time we go to pull something up, it just seemed like it needed to be replaced. So what we did is we replaced walls by section and I didn't get a whole lot of video footage. So I'll make sure to right now put up pictures that I did take of the progress as we were going through. But we had to replace each section of wall. We did 12 foot sections at a time until we got all the way around the entire mobile home itself. And then from there, we went ahead and wrapped it and started putting on our siding. We used T111 siding for the outside of this trailer. Now we still have to wait to paint it. That way we can put our flashing on and then go back over and water seal our roof. So we're not completely watertight, unfortunately. Um, and today, yesterday, today, and tomorrow uh, is rain. So uh, hopefully come Saturday, everything will warm up a little bit and we'll be able to get it painted, get that flashing up and just get everything on the outside watertight. On the inside, we did go ahead and move in and start putting up our walls, running our electric and our plumbing, and replacing all of our subfloor. Obviously not in that order, but most of that work is done. So once we do get it all watertight, we can go in here. We have our insulation and our drywall coming in tomorrow, which is Friday, the day this video goes up. So hopefully come Saturday, once everything starts drying out a little bit and we get everything watertight, we can go ahead and start putting that stuff up. This is currently day 10 of the entire thing. We started last Tuesday. So we are cruising right along. We're hoping to get both of these done within 30 days. We still have the other big one, which some of the guys have started working on right now. They're cutting out a lot of the rotten subfloor. They did that yesterday. Today, they've been tearing down the porch. And then we're gonna start heading over there and replacing that. That one just doesn't need quite as much work as this one did. So, that's just kind of where our focus has been. But in the meantime, I did get some footage of us working on that. So I'll go ahead and put that up right now. And I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, my name's Timothy and I'll see you in the next one. All right, day nine. We have all of the subfloor and our first wall built. We have 21 more days to go for completion on both of them. Fingers crossed.